Hi there, uh, today we're going to show you how to set up your menthol Nord 2 starter kit. So we will start off by opening up and seeing what's inside. So inside the box you've got your Nord 2 battery, a charging kit, a pod for RPM style coils and a pod for Nord style coils. We'll go over that in a second. First off though we'll show you how to get this filled up and start puffing. So first off, what we're going to do is we're going to grab this pod on the left hand side with a kind of a, a smoked appearance to it. This is for the Nord coils. Now for the kind of liquid you're going to get with this pack, this is the best one to use. The other one is suited for um, thicker liquids for a, a different kind of draw. We'll cover that in a minute. So what you've got here is menthol and we've got our pod. So we're going to start by filling this up. So I'm going to open this up here, take the bottle out. And then for filling it up, you'll see on one side here, there's a little pull tab here. You just grab this, open it up, and that's your little fill hole here. So, you know, grab the liquid, pop that in there, and we'll just squeeze to fill this up. Once that's done, all you want to do is just close that make sure it's nice and sealed now we want to pop that sitting down and leave that for about 10 minutes or so just for the liquid to soak into the coil so we'll come back in 10 minutes so that's been about 10 minutes or so so we're going to get the device set up and ready to go so first off you take your pod here and click it into here you'll you'll hear that click next up we've got the power button here now if you click this five times it'll turn the device on or off so we'll click that five times here one, two, three, four, five. And you'll see that screen at the side there light up with the logo and it'll come up with the display there. Now you'll notice on the display it says one W. That means one watt. That's your measurement of power. So at the moment it's set to the, the lowest measurement basically. The coil that we've got in here runs at 16 watts. So we need to adjust that. So first off, what you want to do is click the power button three times. One, two, three. And it'll start flashing. And then if you click it again, it'll move upwards through the power. So we want to get that to 16 watts there. And then we just leave that for a second. And that's it locked in there. So if we take a little puff here. That's working great. So all you do is you just hold the button, draw like you would a cigarette, and uh, inhale. And once you're finished, let go. And that's you good to go. So next up, if we want to turn it off, five clicks on the button. One, two, three, four, five. The screen will turn off and that's it now locked so that's good for putting away in a pocket or, or in a bag or something like that just making sure it's, it's off so now that you've got that set up all you really need to do is uh, refill it when you need to so same way you did it the first time you would pop the, the pot out there undo the little uh, seal at the, the side there pop in some more liquid till it's nice and full and put it back together again five clicks to turn it on and take a puff that's really all the maintenance you need. Now the other maintenance would be changing the coil and we'll go over that now. So next up we're going to go over changing the coil. Now why would you need to change the coil? Um, the coil is essentially the, the heart of the e-cigarette. It's what's actually doing all the work. It's what's taking the liquid and turning it into a vapour for you to inhale. So just by the way uh, they work, they, they do degrade over time. Um, you'll find this for most people to be between five days to two weeks but it can vary quite a lot depending on how often you use it, how much you use it, um, what kind of power settings you use, and also what liquid you use. So you'll, you'll kind of find your, your timing for it, but um, anywhere all the way down from two days up to 14 days or more, it really just kind of depends. So how do you know when to actually change the coil? So you'll know this from a couple of things. Um, first thing is the performance of the device. You'll start to feel it's, it's not quite performing as well as it was when you, you had a fresh coil in there. Um, you'll be getting less vapor performance and, and, and less kind of um, less flavor out of it possibly. Um, it might not taste as good or it might even taste burnt. And finally, um, it, it might sort of gurgle or, or bubble or even leak a little bit. Those are your main kind of indicators that you, you need to change the coil. So how do we do that? Nice and easy. First off, what we do is take out the pod as if we were filling it, pop that to one side. Now the coil is this little silver bit in the middle here. So what we do is we wanna pull this out from the bottom and it just comes straight out like that. Now, 
before you've done this, you want to make sure that the tank's either empty or that you do this over a, a bit of kitchen towel or the sink or something, just so you don't make a mess of whatever is underneath. Um, I've already cleared this one out. So once we've pulled that out, we'll grab a new one here. That's our coil there. And you'll notice that on the side, it's hard to kind of show you, one side's rounded and one side's flat on this circle. There's little kind of uh, notches on the side here. And these line up with the, the flat part there. So when you pop this in, you'll find that it only really kind of actually snaps into place in one orientation. So once that's in, and it's definitely locked in place, that's you. And then all you would do is same as before, just fill up and then leave it for 10 minutes, nice and easy. That we fill, we'll pop that down, leave that for 10 minutes and that should be good to go. Right, that's been about 10 minutes. So we'll take that, pop that in, five clicks to turn the device on. Perfect, good to go. So that's pretty much everything. Now at the start, I was discussing the other pod that's in here. So this pod takes a slightly different kind of more high powered coil. This isn't so much suitable for the liquids that you'll be getting as part of the, the menthol starter kit, but some of our other high VG liquids, um, they're slightly thicker, they produce more vapor, um, and they're kind of inhaled in a different way. So if you're interested in learning more about that, feel free to speak to us in store, one of our staff members, or contact us online, and we can give you some advice on how to use those. Um, but in the meantime, stick with the other one and the coils that you get in the back, and uh, best of luck. Thanks.